Based on the works of the French political philosopher Baron de Montesquieu, the drafters of the Constitution sought to divide the power of government across three branches, a legislative branch, the Congress, an executive branch, the president and the bureaucracy, and a judicial branch, the courts. The functions of government were divided across the three branches, with Congress responsible for making laws, the executive responsible for implementing laws, and the judiciary responsible for interpreting laws. Of course, in practice, the picture gets somewhat more complicated. Over the next three weeks, we'll examine the three branches of the U.S. government and their counterparts in the state of California. We'll begin this week with the legislative branch, the Congress comprised of the House of Representatives and the Senate at the federal level, and the California State Assembly and the Senate at the state level. We'll explore the various powers afforded the legislative branch and we'll debate the effectiveness of the legislature in carrying out those powers and responsibilities. We'll also this week examine the dynamics of American federalism, a system for distributing political power across the various layers of government. Federalism represented a radical departure from the tradition of highly centralized political authority when it was first enacted in the United States in the 18th century. Over time, the balance of power has gradually shifted from the states to the national government, and some would like to see it move back to the states again. There's a lot to consider, so let's get started. 